We need help in here! Has she been ill or she complained of dizziness? She's pregnant, okay? She's been oh dizzy before, but never fainted. Okay, well, somebody page Dr. Lee, please. Here, I need someone to help her get into the wheelchair. Here we go. Ready? Easy, easy. Okay, everything's gonna be okay, Charlie. I'm gonna be right here. All right, get her to exam room right two. Okay? Baby's gonna be fine. Let's go. This is a violation of every rule in every book. I should not be treating you. You are my son. But I love you so much. So you have just got to wake up, Jason. You've got to wake up. You've got to be well. Do you understand? Please. Is he okay? Uh, I don't know. How long has he been like this? Uh, it's been over an hour. He's had a CT scan, and I'm going to go see what's happening with the results. Get over this. You're supposed to be invulnerable, remember? Just think about all the people who need you. Certainly not me, but you know, there are lots of them. You know, if you died a week ago, I, I would be able to console Spinelli, but now, I mean, he's not even talking to me, and when he does, it's all formal and weird, and I don't know what to do about it. Please, just wake up, okay? Get moving. Open your eyes. You can tell me that I'm annoying. Say ouch or something! Ow! So the CT scan is clear. There's no bleeding or swelling on the brain. Oh, that's a relief. What, what happened to Jerry Jacks? Mr. Jacks disappeared from the hospital. What are, you, what are you kidding me? He was here and he walked out the door. The Nobody police, stopped him. The police are looking for him. They're going to find him. Jason, Jason, uh. you have got to lie back and relax, please. You've had an injury, and I have to go and tell Carly that you are okay. Were you Carly was here? Yes, she was here, but she got upset and she fainted. She I need, I need to. I need to see her. Will you please just lay back down? You're not going to help anyone else if you knock yourself out again. Axie is absolutely right. Jason, you have had a head Doctor, trauma. Hunter said I was okay. I need, I need to see Carl. Oh, right my now. God. There's no point in arguing with me. Please be careful. A head injury can cause complication to hours, even days after it happens, Jason. Hey, I promise. I'm going to be okay. Please. What? This is so stupid. Just go away, Maxie. Get back in that bed, and I will go get Carly. No, Watch I need to find Carly. I don't even know why I tried to help you. Oh, God, Jason, thank God you're okay. Yeah, Monica said you collapsed. Yeah, I have to avoid stress, so could you try not to get blown up in the next did nine you, months? Did you have the blood test? Yes, and it turns out I have the blood disorder. So you're gonna... It means I have to be careful for the rest of the pregnancy. Carly, you just told me you have a 50% chance of developing a blood clot that yeah. could kill you. and I also have a 50% chance of not developing it. What does Jax think? Jax doesn't know. I don't want Jax to know. Jax, I want this baby more than anything. No, the, the risk is too high. Carly. I don't care. I'm not going to terminate this pregnancy. Jax and I are going to have our little girl. You can't just ignore the risks. Why not? You do all the time. Think about it, Jason. When was the last time that you let 50-50 odds stop Carly, you from doing anything? It's different. It is, because this is a baby. I didn't think I could get pregnant again, and now, here I am. I'm pregnant. Nothing is going to stop me from carrying this baby. You have, you have two other kids to think about. Yeah, I know. There are, uh, there are no easy answers here. Your, your family doesn't want to lose you. I, I don't want to lose you. That's why you're going to get me through this. You're going to get me through this, Jason. You're going to make me count to ten. It's not counting to ten. Hard. It's a medical condition. You can't you can't make it just okay, go away. Okay, you know what? I'm really not supposed to get upset. So if you could um, please accept that this is my decision and just not give me a grief about it. I'll do whatever you need. Just be careful. I was just gonna see. How you doing? Uh, he did a CT scan, some other tests. What? What happened? Uh, it's been only. 
found Jerry's car parked in the 10th Street garage, so I went down there and I intercepted him. I was going to take him for the mm -hmm. drive. You know, I pushed the button on the remote and the car exploded. I was unconscious, but but Monica said that Jerry and I were, were both brought here and he disappeared. Any idea who set the car bomb? Not yet, no. Okay, you know that Jerry was the target. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking into that. Okay, I need you to find him. And I, I'm, I'm counting on you to take care of this wife. Focus on Michael. Has, has there been a change? Dr. Hanson says that he needs surgery right away. That's why I gotta talk to Carly. Okay, she's here. I know she's here. No, no, she's... I mean she's... She's here as a patient. She had a fainting spell, and they admitted her. What are you doing here? Tony said you were in the hospital after a car exploded. Yeah, I don't like hospitals. Well, most people don't, but if you're injured, that's where you need to... I have to... some questions about the explosion, actually. Okay, but you're talking to the wrong person. The first I heard about it was when Sonny called me and told me. Jerry got hit by the explosion, too. Well, there you go. Jerry Jacks. I'm sure he rigged the bomb and it somehow backfired. Okay, see, the problem is it's Jerry's car. And whatever else Jerry might be, he's not stupid. Someone wanted to stop Jerry from telling what he knows about Michael's shooting. 